In this video I'll be helping you with the Alex problems titled Solving a Distance Rate Time Problem Using a System of Linear Equations. The relationship that we have to keep in mind is that distance equals rate times time when the rate is constant. And in this problem we see that two cyclists start at the same point and travel in opposite directions. So they are starting at the same point. One is going one way and the other in the opposite direction. One cyclist travels six miles per hour slower than the other one. If the two cyclists are 136 miles apart after four hours, what is the rate of each cyclist? Since we are looking for the rate of each cyclist, I'm going to call cyclist 1. I'm going to say that he has a rate of x miles per hour and that cyclist 2 has a rate of y miles per hour. And then we can look back at the question and see that one cyclist travels six miles per hour slower than the other one. So we can say that rate x here is equal to the rate of y minus six. So in this case I've got the first cyclist going six miles per hour slower than the second cyclist. And then the second part states that the two cyclists are 136 miles apart after four hours. So if my figure here is four hours later, this distance is 136 miles. And knowing that distance equals rate times time, the first cyclist here, the red one, he's going x miles per hour and it's been four hours. So he has traveled x miles per hour times four. So he has gone x times four. So for example, if he were going 10 miles per hour, he would have gone 40 miles in four hours. And if we add to that the distance that the other cyclist has gone, now he's traveling at y miles per hour, but also it's been four hours, so he has gone y times four miles. Then the total distance that they are now apart, so if we add the distance that the red cyclist went to the distance that the blue cyclist went, they have gone a total of 136 miles. And now we have two equations, and the second equation can be cleaned up a little bit x times 4 is just 4x, y times 4 is just 4y equals 136. And using these two equations, we can solve this system of linear equations. Since the first equation is already solved for x, x equals y minus 6, I'm going to substitute that in to the second equation for x. So rewriting that second equation, I would have 4 times, instead of x, this is y minus 6, that's what x is, plus 4y equals 136. And it's important that I put in these parentheses because this multiplication right here is 4 being multiplied by everything that is x and everything is y minus 6. So we can now start to solve this for y by first distributing that 4 and 4 times y is 4y, 4 times minus 6 is minus 24. Bring down this second 4y that's already in the equation equals 136. And now combining like terms, we have a 4y and a 4y. We can bring those together 
and combine and say that that is 8y, I've still got the minus 24 equals 136. Solving for y, I would add the 24 over to get the y term by itself. I now have 8y equals 136 plus 24, 160. Divide both sides by 8, and we have y equals 20. So the rate y here is 20 miles per hour. That's how fast one of the cyclists is going. The other cyclist, we said their rate is x, and from this equation, we see that x is equal to y minus 6. Well, if y is 20, then x would be 20 minus 6, or 14. 